Jesse, what advice can you give to the entrepreneurs or people chasing vanity metrics? Because I know you just did an, a, a really good Instagram reel on this, and I love this. And I actually interviewed someone the other day, and he said being rich on Instagram can sometimes be like being rich in Monopoly, like with Monopoly money. It doesn't mean you're necessarily making money, right? So I would love to hear your thoughts about this. Oh, it's a great question, Justine, because people are obsessed with the likes. I think that you get these dopamine hits. I know that you get these dopamine hits when you see how many followers you have, how many people are on your live video, um, you know, how many love hearts are going across the screen or whatever, fill in the blank. And the fact of the matter is that that does not convert necessarily to dollars. And so I see this obsession with vanity metrics of how many followers can I get or can I buy? Or, you know, how many people are going to comment on my stuff that's going to make me feel like I'm valuable? And ultimately, it's like you you need to focus on what I like to call super fans. How many people really know you, really like you, really want to spread the word of whatever it is that your message is, really are, are the people who go, no, I'm so bought into what she's doing. And if you do that, that's where the actual success comes from. The success is not, you, you can't print likes off of Instagram, right? Like they don't convert into dollars necessarily. Uh, and Either. Right, exactly. I mean, there's a there's actually a really interesting story. I don't know if anybody saw it, but I think a lot of people saw it. There's a page I follow on Instagram. It's called Baller Busters, and it makes me it cracks me up because it's they they expose people when they've deeply researched them to make sure that they are fraudulent in some way. And I look on the page occasionally, and there's there's one person they told the story. This is three or four months ago, where it's an influencer, and she she got arrested, so she gets sent to jail, and her bail was set at. 2,000 US dollars. Keep in mind, she has on Instagram 9 million followers. So not like a little influencer, not like one or two people, like 9 million followers just on Instagram. That's not even YouTube, which I think was her biggest platform. That's not TikTok. That's none of this stuff. And not only did she not have $2,000 to bail herself out of jail, she could not afford a lawyer and had to use the appointed lawyer in America, which is like the worst, right? Uh, and so I, I just want more people to understand, just give value, give value inside your niche, be proud of what you're doing, speak to the people, even if it's one person watching your live, you speak to that person, you comment back on the comments, even if it's one or two comments, you build those relationships, you turn them into super fans. And then when you're ready to sell something, like when I dropped my course for the first time on November 1st, it was like, boom, explosion. Even though I'm not the biggest influencer, I have the best followers.